Hi, this is Mitch Mitchell of TT Mitchell Consulting. I've got a question for you. How do people view you? Or how do you think people view you? Do they think that you're one of those people who has a lot of pride? Do you seem like you carry yourself out? Well? Or do you carry a posture that makes people think that you're ready to be submissive, that you don't have a real backbone? And how you're carrying yourself? Are people misinterpreting the signs? You know, I'm working out of town right now, and because I'm from New York, New York State that is, you know, I always figure that I have to carry myself a certain way. I have enough pride, you know, as an independent consultant, you better have some pride, otherwise you're not going to work all that often. So I have some pride. And yet I notice that there are times when I'm walking, even though I tend to walk kind of fast, where I'm looking down. And the reason I look down is because I have a tendency to walk into things and trip, and I want to make sure I'm not going to trip on things. Or every once in a while you step on one of those rocks and you twist your ankle a little bit. And, you know, I'm trying to be cautious. But at the same time, I'm working in the South. And I see a lot of people who kind of walk that way, I hate to admit. And you always wonder, are they doing the same thing, watching the ground, or are they kind of exhibiting a little bit of submissiveness? You know, I don't want to make it look like I'm stereotyping the South. I really don't. But, you know, there's things that are different where I am right now than when I, where I am when I'm at home. And I've always wondered how people react to certain things like that. Do they think that because you're nice that you don't have a backbone, that you're afraid to do the right thing? Or when you have pride, do they think that you're boastful and you think that you're better than everybody else? You know, you always have this kind of thing where sometimes you wonder how you carry yourself if people understand that, you know, you're basically just being you and you're not trying to show that you're either overly prideful or overly submissive. Now, truthfully, there are times when you can really tell <laughs> the difference. I have met a lot of people who think that they are just, uh, well, I'll have to say it, God's gift to the world. That's exactly what they think they are. And I have met other people who just are the most timid people you've ever met. And I've got to tell you, it's a little more intimidating running into the people who are uh, kind of timid than the people who think that they're all that. Because the people who think that they're all that usually aren't, but they don't have enough people who will challenge them. Whereas the people who really are timid or submissive, you're always worried and you're going to say the wrong thing that's going to, you know, frighten them or scare them off or, you know, make them uncomfortable. And it's a weird conundrum. Um, I like to think that I'm pretty good at reading people but I don't take a lot of chances with that. I treat everyone the exact same. I don't care if you are the president of a multi-billion dollar company or if you're the person cleaning the floors. You know what? If there's a job, it's important. And if someone is doing it, great. And, you know, it, it's an interesting kind of thing because um, where I am right now, there's a lot of people who are unemployed. And so there's a lot of begging that goes on. It's amazing how much it is. I, I've seen it at home also, but usually it's just on a street corner. You don't usually have people following you down the street <laughs> you know, walking up to you. It, it's really something that's very uncomfortable, I'll admit to that. But, you know, that's the state of the economy. And you see this kind of thing that people come at you when there's desperation for money. But it's not pride, and it's not really submissiveness in a way. It's, it's just this whole, you know, other different vibe. But how are you misinterpreting it? A lot of people are scared of those folks. Those folks don't scare me at all because most of them don't have weapons. I'm not thinking that they have a weapon. And probably, you know, I probably still think I'm, you know, in my 20s and ready to fight almost anyone who wants to fight me back, even though I'm in my 50s. And, you know, I think I can still hit someone kind of hard, but I'd be hard-pressed to keep it up for long. <laughs> That's just the shape I'm in. What are you going to do? But, you know, I, I wanted to ask this kind of question overall because a lot of people will say, I don't care what others think. The truth of the matter is there are times where we do. We don't want anyone getting the wrong impression of them. Now, I'm one of those people who believes that if someone thinks I'm less than they are, they're going to be in for a rotten surprise. But if someone thinks I'm better than them, well, that's disappointing to me because it makes me think I haven't done the best that I can do to make everyone feel that we're all just equal and we all have an equal opportunity. But I want to know what you think. 
So, you know, leave me a comment if you'd like to, or, you know, give me some kind of idea of what your thoughts are on this. And I'd really like to know, do you care? And if you do care, what would you try to do to make others feel better? Thank you very much. Like I said, I'm Mitch Mitchell of TT Mitchell Consulting Incorporated, and I hope you have a great day and a great week.